So a super common comment I get on a ton of videos, whether it's in my Discord, all over the place, someone gets super lucky. Hey, Phil, I found a D-Web. What is this item worth? Hey, Phil, I found a Lightning Skiller with 15 to life. How many runes can I get for this? It is a very common question, and I understand people don't want to get quote-unquote ripped off. They want to get as much value out of the items they don't need so they can trade them for as many of the items that they do need. I get it. I feel the same way. But there is some very simple ways that I use all the time in order to determine exactly what the value is for an item at this exact point in ladder because it will constantly shift as the ladder progresses as people find new gear. So right now I'm going to show you two different websites and show you the way that I always know exactly what items are worth right now. Now, the first thing we'll look at is this rune chart right here. I will put a link in the description to any of the websites that I look at right here. But the very first one is this rune chart. And this is a rough guide. Don't take this as gospel. This was made in February before ladder. So things could change a little bit. And in the future, when they make new rune words, eventually it could change around the values of this stuff. But for a guideline, you can see, let's start off at Vex here. You see Vex is worth two gulls because you can just cube two gulls together to get a Vex. You can cube two vexes together to get an ohm. You can cube two ohms together to get a low. So for the little bit here, all these runes are worth two of the one before it. Until you get up into Burr and Ja, they're the most in-demand ones. So they're going to be worth even more because everyone needs to make Enigma. Everyone wants to make Infinity. A lot of people anyways. And then once you get up to Cham and Zod down here, these are actually going to be worth less than the stuff before it. Just because there aren't as good of rune words, you can't cube them up into runes that are required for good rune words. So they're gonna have lower value. So Cham and Zod are actually lower than even uh, things like the Sir rune and the low rune and stuff like that. Now, as you see here, Ist is generally considered, anytime they talk about rune value, Ist is considered like the base currency. It's not really currency, but everyone knows that they take runes essentially as currency in this particular game. So now you have a loose understanding of kind of what runes are worth what, and you can refer to this chart anytime you want to, screenshot it or go to the link in the description. Now we can look at some other sites here to determine what different types of items that you find, the really good uniques or really crazy rare items, what those are actually worth. Now the next one we're looking at also will be linked in the description. That is Tradery. Now this is a website where you literally like post up your item and you want to trade it for some other item, or you could just say, you know, go ahead and uh, send me an offer. Now, this is the page you'll originally come to if you're playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, which is be why you're watching my channel. I bet. Click on Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, once you come here, you can see some of the uh, most recent posts over on the side here. You can look at go by rune words, sets, runes, gems. There's all different types of things here. All the different stuff that's posted here. Um, there's things like Nagel Ring, Raven Frost, but. There is a search thing up here. Uh, you see, uh, as an example here, I typed in Stone of Jordan. We'll go ahead and enter for that and pops up. Oh, look, it found the Stone of Jordan. We'll go ahead and click on it. And now here it has also uh, different types of things that you can sort by. But if you want to try to see kind of what people are trading stuff for or what they're asking anyways, you can go ahead and scroll down like this. Um, a lot of these, this guy's asking 12 ist for a Stone of Jordan, but you don't want to just take a look at the first person because a lot of times people can ask anything they want to. Now you want to scroll down, uh, 12 ist seems a little bit on the steep side. Some people are asking burr, jaw, and low. So you can see people can literally, literally ask anything that they want. This person's asking two vex. That seems like a little bit better deal. Um, because if you remember the other page, two vex, you can cube together, get next higher rune that's definitely lower than a burr and a jaw. So this is another way that you can kind of get an idea of what things are worth. Look what people are asking for them. Now, just remember anything that's posted on here, that means this has not traded for what is listed here. That means this is just what somebody's asking. So you can kind of look here, six ist runes, doesn't look like a bad deal either. So uh, this is one way here, just come to Tradery, kind of type in what item you're looking for and go ahead and scroll down and see what people are asking for it to kind of get an idea of what it's worth. This isn't gonna be absolutely perfect, but it can definitely give you an idea. All right, here's the point where a lot of people melt down their brains. Ah, oh my gosh, Phil, that's D2JSP. Dislike, unsub. Now remember, this is just me showing you 
how to tell what things are worth. I'm not telling you to go here. I'm not telling you to spend your money on the forum gold. The forum gold is the made up currency that they have for this particular website. You don't have to do anything. You can just look and see though what people are literally trading for, how much of this quote unquote forum gold. And then you can look at the runes and see how much those are trading for. And you can literally do a one-to-one -one comparison. The good thing with this site is you can tell exactly this person is trading this much for this item, confirmed trade. It's not like other websites where you can't tell if people really confirmed the trade and it really happened. So for an example here, let's go ahead and take a look at a Shaco, type it into the search and to be able to use the search thing, you do have to set up an account with the website. So I went ahead and searched Shaco. So down here we got for trade 550 bin, bin means buy it now for this Shaco right here. Um, somebody did not want to buy it for 550. They offered 500. You cannot tell if they confirmed to trade that or not, but I'm guessing 550 might be a little bit over the amount of forum gold that it's going for right now. And that it's actually trading for 500 because a lot of times people try to make a profit or they want to get as much value out of it as they can. Now, in order to, to convert this to rune value, you kind of got to guess and check here. Let's see what rune is worth 500 forum gold on here. Let's check out what an ohm rune goes for right now. Right here, fresh crispy ohm rune for 700 FG. Someone bought it instantly, PM'd. That means they uh, bought it now and they sent it. And this is a confirmed trade. Someone bought it for 700 FG. Let's go ahead and go back and double check just to make sure that's what it's for. Right here, uh, we'll go ohm rune 700 bin. Boom. They bought it for 700, confirmed trade once again. So that's going for 700. So apparently a Shaco is worth a little bit less than an Ohm. Let's go ahead and check out the value of a Vex real quick. Right here, we got a Vex for 400. Uh, I'm not going to look too long at that, but here, 400. Here, a Vex for 400. Someone's trying to sell for 430. They're trying to make a little extra value. Closed, that means this one's completed. So someone bought it now. It does not say the price, but it's 400, 400, 400, 400. So... Uh, Shaco right now, because Shacos are in such high demand, they are actually go for slightly more than a Vex. So that is really, in my opinion, the fastest and easiest way to value stuff almost instantly. Um, I'm going slow because I'm trying to explain it here to you, but you can go ahead and uh, find it in literally one minute what everything is worth instantly. This is the original site that you're going to come to. So uh, when you come into here, if you're playing on ladder, D2R Softcore Ladder, there's a million different things over here for different uh, D2R classic ladder, uh, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox, blah, 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 but I'm on PC, so D2R softcore ladder trading, and boom, it brings you to this forum right here, and then it pops up with new trades here that if you want to, or like I said, you go into the search, and that way you can really tell exactly, specifically the value of literally any item, just in a matter of seconds, maybe minutes if it takes you a second.